What is going on there, Reject Nation? We see Doctor Strange this coming Monday, but before that, we got ourselves another short clip and another new trailer, a featurette specifically focusing on Wanda Maximoff, which I hear has new footage that we gotta check out first. Because obviously, you can't react to this jazz once we see the movie. So we're doing it now. So guys, leave a like, be very much appreciated. Cast a spell to that subscribe button so you can be notified when our review for Doctor Strange is up here on the channel. Let's get to it. Wow! <laughs> cool, yeah. <laughs> Dope. You okay? Huh? What is grief? If not love, persevering. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, no. <laughs> I love Part that. Part of the madness of the multiverse is we get to see different realities. <laughs> and we see different versions primarily of Doctor Strange, but we do see other versions of Wanda Maximoff. I think WandaVision was Confirmed. this journey of her for the first time taking her own life into her own hands. And it was fun transitioning from her experience to this movie. We could use an Avenger. There are other Avengers. We'll get you back on the lunchbox. What do you know about the multiverse? We wanted to satisfy the WandaVision fans and take them to the next level with a the character they love. That's good it was to fun know. just looking at it from a different perspective. <laughs> Multiverse. He has had his theories. Oh, shit. He believed it was dangerous. We need your help. Ooh. It's magical. She owns that character so well. It's a very powerful performance. Wow. With a very powerful character. There's some reveals in this. Yeah. Altering the versions of everyone. Ooh. It gives the characters a unique opportunity to meet themselves, to recognize qualities that they may have been blind to. The fate <laughs> of the multiverse depends on us. <laughs> 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 Break that four of the wall. She looked right at us. Yeah. Right at us. Deadpool Wanda confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's gonna be so boring. Can't you feel it? I am not Can't excited to feel at how all. boring this yeah, movie is gonna be. Imaginative too. I mean, that first clip was awesome. Just the different multiverses that you're going through in this one quick action scene. That's the multiverse of madness right here. Yeah. That's all it was right there. It's <laughs> just, just a two-hour montage, montage of that. The same way you saw <laughs> X-Men Origins Wolverine trailer, and you were like, "Wow, we're gonna see a lot." Oh, nope, it's just the opening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A few seconds, and we're on to the story. But I love how you get all this like crazy wildly animated versions of it and it looks like you hop through like a very different time period at yeah, one point like a new war timeline thing yeah there's like a cyberpunk looking city at one point too yeah there's like a mordor hellscape this looks like mustafar from the star wars universe hey same umbrella company you know it could be i really love how in a lot of this it's really feeling like because we usually rely on doctor strange to be one who's in control and so knowledgeable so much of the footage and trailers that we've been getting have been putting it back in the position where Doctor Strange in a lot of ways is the one who's feeling like the fish out of water. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Like he's in way over his head in a place that he should have a good grasp on. The person that we deem as Sorcerer Supreme because he's no longer Sorcerer Supreme but the one who is, he's, he's Sorcerer Supreme. So the one we rely on to be the know-it-all, there's so much more he has to learn now. And everything that we got about Wanda too, like they, they did confirm because there's all these theories that have been going around of is this just some projection within her own mind this other Wanda that you see in the trailers I've been saying and a lot of other people have been is that that Wanda who you see in the home with the kids Tommy and Billy is just a Wanda from another universe who seems like she was successfully able to fulfill and have the family that she wanted what our Wanda was hoping and aiming for and it seems like the way how Doctor Strange is able to experience premonition or memories of other variants that's what Wanda herself is going through so she, she's going to be traversing the multiverse trying to obtain that so it looks like they're going to get into like a big fight those two Wandas because somehow I, I don't know exactly why obviously there's so much I don't know about this movie but I imagine that some ability of taking over that Wanda so she can have the children. It seems like our Wanda is going to be turning more villainous and that Wanda when she's looking down at her and putting her hand on her face is like compassionate torture like 
I'm sorry, you can't have children, but these are my children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you not to take them <laughs> yeah. and cause your own trauma <laughs> in my life, in, in another version of us. They mentioned Vision before, like Viz had his theories about the multiverse, but this featurette kicked off with what is grief, if not love, persevering. We still don't know if Vision's gonna show up in this movie at all, but it would be so cool to actually get him. And I still think that's not the only other Wanda we're gonna see. Oh, not at all. And I mean, my favorite part of this actually was kind of being reminded of how significant I think Wanda's gonna be in here because, you know, she's in a lot of the ads and stuff, but the impression I always get is this is Doctor Strange's adventure. It's gonna be confronting him as a character. We're gonna meet America Chavez. Wanda's gonna be involved. But this one was the first one that really made it feel like this movie will represent an emotional confrontation and arc for Wanda as well that feels like not only is it a sequel to Doctor Strange, convergence point for the greater MCU moving forward, mm -hmm. but also a continuation of WandaVision. That's funny because I had the exact opposite thought. I, I kept feeling like this is going to equally be Doctor Strange and Wanda's movie, but the marketing is limiting us on Wanda because she's going to have the biggest emotional crux to deal with here. Yeah, and I feel like it's a smart choice to lean into the aspects of Wanda that are a bit more sinister and do play on the grief that we left her in previously so that the more nuanced and the more maybe compassionate or maybe even more sinister versions of Wanda, yeah, will be a surprise for the rest of the movie. And it makes me just yeah. really excited to see what her journey can flourish into as well because I guess maybe it's like a perspective thing. Like this made me think that maybe we'll see through her perspective more than I was expecting of this specific movie, which yeah. I think is really nice because, you know, as much as you do want it to be a Doctor Strange movie that does things for him as a character, I am happy to have it be maybe, while you have all these cameos and crossovers mm -hmm. and craziness happening, to a, a real meaningful movie for Wanda as well that they could kind of share, like a duet or something like that, you know, almost. I go online, I feel like people are more excited for Wanda than Doctor Strange, man. I think she's going to be that But she might be like the big highlight of the movie. I bet. And I haven't read what is in the first 20 minutes of this movie. I have heard that it is like really fast paced and exciting. That's all I've heard about it. I, I actually don't know what the specifics are in there, but I bet they're online in a lot of places. <laughs> but guys, who are you most excited for in this film? Cameos or Wanda? Leave your thoughts down below. You can subscribe, click that bell, leave a like. Hey, let's shout out some patrons. Andy Funky Punky. Lorenzo Pretenzo Baxter. Differently sane and full of shame. Oh, what the hell? Levitt Odell. Lauren American Horse is snoring Farin Course. My hair was braided by Simply Faded. Leave it to Beaver Peter Pacheco D Delgado. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Joanna, Joe Montana, St. Louis, Rogue, Patrick Hogue, Creep with Bruce Lee, Somalia Justice, 94. What's with all the fussin', Justin? What are you starting, Martin? Rosie blows me a weighty baby. Darth Yoda, Order 66. Colin. Philip Joie de Vivre Smith Jr. Jen versus Ryu and Ken Smith with. Tell me your thoughts, Melanie LeBlanc. The player Eva Drastikova found alive in Sokovia. Jason takes Manhattan Dolan. Thank you guys Love all for you. being here and hopefully we bring you cheer. Hooray! See you next month.